guys, I'm Alan Zirkel with Mr. Z's Music Lessons and today we're going to be having a little bit of fun and we're doing a piano tutorial over Don't Stop Believing by Journey. This is a really fun song to play, has a very iconic piano part that I think you guys will have a lot of fun with. In the description of the video there's a link to a chord chart, the original song, and also a cover of me playing through the whole thing if you want to check any of those things out. So let's jump into the lesson. So we're going to start out with the intro and we're going to do just the left hand first and getting the song hands together is pretty difficult, so it will take some practice, and I really suggest playing along with the original song a lot, just to understand the left hand rhythm. So we're starting down on a low E with the fifth finger, and I'm just gonna play through this kind of slowly for you guys, and you can just watch my fingers to figure out what finger I'm using. So we'll go. That's really it for the intro on the left hand. You're just playing those notes. And if you want this to sound a little bit more like the original recording, you could play that same thing in octaves. And I know some of this is cut off the screen so you won't be able to see it, but I'm playing E with my thumb here, and then the next E down with my fifth finger so I could play. if you want it to sound like that. It's a little bit harder to do that, but it does sound pretty cool. And then for the right hand, we're gonna play E with our second finger, B with the fifth finger, and this is an E chord, and we're just gonna be alternating between B and E, and then down to a B with our thumb, so we have. Just like that. And then on the B chord, we're gonna play F sharp and B, The C sharp minor chord, we're going to go back to the same thing we started with, the E and B here. In the A chord, we're going to play C sharp and A and alternate to an A down here. And back to the E chord, back to B. Then on G sharp minor, we're going to play D sharp right here and B there with the fifth finger and then B down here with the thumb. Then we're back to the A chord. So I'll play through the intro with just the right hand once. play the intro hands together for you. And that's really it for the intro. And as far as pedaling, with the left hand, I'm holding the pedal down whenever I'm sustaining a note. So I hold the pedal down for the E. Then whenever I play F sharp and G sharp, I lift the pedal up and then I put it down again anytime there's a held note. So it sounds like. the pedal down whenever you do those notes that are kind of closer together it just starts to sound a little bit muddy so I would lift the pedal up whenever you have those F sharp and G sharp C sharp and D sharp and also D sharp and E just so those notes don't mix together too much so that's it for the intro you guys then we're gonna go over verse 1 and verse 1 is the same as the intro except the left hand rhythm is slightly different you're gonna hold out some of the notes a little bit longer than we did earlier on so let me play through verse 1 really slowly and in the middle of verse one, there's also an instrumental. And during that instrumental, you're gonna go back to kind of the rhythm that we played at the, on the intro. 
So here you go. that's it for verse 1 and the only difference between that and verse 2 is verse 2 you don't hold out those notes longer ever you just play all those rhythms on the upbeat and so I think that is it that's all you guys need on the verses and uh, if you're curious kind of the difference between those two verses just go over to the video that I did that's a cover of this whole thing and just listen to that to hear the difference between the two then let's go over the chorus and for the chorus in the left hand we're going to be playing eighth notes and going back and forth between A and E. So we'll, I'll just play through this once. We're playing A, down to E. Same thing again. Same thing again. slightly different, stay on A, we're going to go up to B, E, B, E, A. So that last part on the word night, we're going to play B, E, B, E, A. And that's it for the chorus. And then right after that there's a little instrumental, and for that you just go back to playing the like first line of the intro of those the chords E B C sharp minor and A again, and then in the right hand we're going to be playing some chords, so we're going to play B, which is B D sharp and F sharp, and then we're going to go down to A, which is A C sharp and E. Then we're going to go back to B. And we're going to go up to E, which is B E and G sharp. So, so far on the course, we have then go back and forth between B and E. Same thing again, back to B, A, B, E, B, E, B, E, back to B. slightly different um, inversions of these chords. So we're going to play B here, E up here, back to B there, and then we're going to play an E chord in first inversion. So we'll play our thumb on G sharp, second finger on B, fifth finger on E. Then we'll play A in root position. So that last part on the word night is So let me go ahead and go through this entire course, hands together.
that's really it for the chorus, guys. And I really think that's it for this lesson. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything in the comments section. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.